y'all it's Michaela the HBIC the black brass and the black barbie and I'm back with another video and today's video is gonna be me showing you guys how I made this really 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 cute crisscross rhinestone tank top this was really easy to do and you can do this with any shirt you have So I'm going to first start off with using these boys tank tops I got from Walmart. I got eight in a pack and I got it in a size medium. So now I'm just going to take any marking tool that I have and I'm going to mark how high I want to cut my shirt. Once I finish doing that, I'm just going to take a measuring tape and in the middle of my shirt, I'm going to measure how big I want my gap to be. I measured mine's about one and a half inches long and I put two dots there to know where I marked it. So now I'm just gonna cut my shirt on that marking that I made. So now from those two dots that we created, I'm gonna create two vertical lines going straight down the shirt. Once I finish doing that, I'm gonna cut that out. So I'm going to hem my shirt. Now for this part, this is optional. You do not have to have a sewing machine. So if you don't, you can simply use fabric glue. But if you do have a sewing machine, then you are going to hem your shirt. So in sewing, I made sure that I did not sew straight down the middle of the hem that I created. I made sure to sew on the edge of my shirt because we are going to be cutting holes in that hem. So for the dots, you could put as many dots as you want to. I use the very bright marker so you guys can see the dots I'm creating. But if you're doing this yourself, you want to make sure the dots are tiny as possible. Now when cutting and making the holes, you want to make the holes as tiny as possible too because if you don't, the holes will stretch. Now for decorating your shirt, you can choose any type of chain you want to. I just went with the rhinestone one. Now when cutting your rhinestones or your chain, you want to make it as long as possible or you just want to get a really long chain. Now for this part, you're just going to stick it through the holes going in a zigzag motion. But before you continue, make sure that both of the chains are even on each side. So once you put that through, you are completely finished. This is what the top looked like. It came out really, really, really cute and it was so easy to do. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe because we need to get this video popping. And don't forget to come back to my channel because I got more videos dropping soon. Anyways, I will see you guys soon. I love y'all and bye.